Hi, I'm Lauren Bouchard. I'm the creator of Bob's Burgers. I was always interested in the idea of a family that runs a restaurant. When you work in one of these places, you get very, very close to the people you work with. Um, it's kind of you against the world. So I like that idea for a family. Uh, and I, li I like little mom and pop shops. I like when you walk into a little place and the kids are behind the counter. It's just, I like that feeling. Damn it, I thought the glass would break. I don't draw on Bob's Burgers. I um, suck at drawing. Um, but, I mean, I have learned and unlearned to draw many times over the years. The first time I really wanted to draw was when I was in about eight years old and I went to the zoo and I saw a polar bear. And for some reason, I remember very clearly, I said, I want to go home and draw that thing. It started me off on a lot of drawing, a lot of notebooks. By the time I got to do this professionally, I met so many people who were so better, so much better at drawing than I was that uh, it didn't make sense for me to be drawing anything. Ow! Ah! That's the gas bedroom! Ow! Oof! Other bedroom! Ow! I gotta fix that shingle! Ow! The inspiration for Teddy does come from a real guy. When I was living in San Francisco, I kind of inherited a handyman, and he had a lot to say. So he, if he came over to fix your screen door, and you were home during the day like I was, you were in for like a lot of talk from this guy, which was a pleasure. But that said, uh, Larry was doing that voice and lives inside that guy so well, I didn't need to, uh, all, all, the only idea was just this talkativeness. I want some burgers and fries. I want some burgers and fries. Well, there's some right here. Don't you, you tell, tell me, me no lie? I firmly believe that music and animation go together uh, like peanut butter and chocolate. They just work together. There is no reason. If you are lucky enough to get an animated show, you should fill that thing with music. And so for us, it's just a matter of, do we have time? Do we have ideas? Can we fit it in? Nuts. Hi, I'm Tyree Dillahay, and you're at Bento Box Entertainment, where I'm a director on Bob's Burgers. I'm going to take you on a little tour to see how Bob's Burgers is made. So hey, come with me. So what we have here is our wall of doodles. This is where all artists basically get on here and jam. You'll see various drawings, various themes, all pretty much using the Bob's characters, drawn in different styles, and just everybody just pretty much having fun. So you see it says, hey, artist, but if you look real close, somebody added an F and made it fartist. Animation people, I swear. Hey, John, I want you to tell these people what you do on Bob's Burgers. I'm the composer for half the episodes, so I do uh, scoring music and uh, basically write music and uh, put it all together in here. How much time do you spend on the traditional keyboard? We found that on the sidewalk, and it's it sounds like you found it on the sidewalk. Oh man, can we get a taste? Can we get a taste? Yeah, What's going on? Roll. Little Bob's Saloon flavor there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so love it's it. got that real, you know, kind of western barroom piano sound. So yeah. If you want something like that, it's great. But if you really want to have it be sort of polished and sophisticated, I might need to use the electronics. Electronics. <laughs> it's all depends on what the scene calls for. <laughs> this is nice. It's going to look good on camera. Yeah, that's, that was the whole point. Yeah. I know, I can tell. Doing it like I'm doing it for TV. Can you introduce yourself and tell the people out there what you do on Bob's Burgers? I'm the editor, and I guess what you could say I do is take kind of a rough diamond that I get initially and polish it to get it broadcast ready by altering the timing of the dialogue and the visuals as well to make them play as best I can with what I'm given. All right, guys, I don't know if you know this, but where the Belchers live is actually called Seymour Bay, supposedly. But I want you guys to know, Seymour's Bay is this room and this guy. I think they just liked the sound of the word because they would always say when they were getting ready to come in and talk about a show, let's go meet up in Seymour's Bay. And they thought that that sounded like a funny name for the city and, and they told me that at one time. So 
So I'm basically, honored to be uh, he's the God. namesake. He's God, basically. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I do here as a director on Bob's Burgers. It's a three-step process pretty much. Pre-production, production, and post-production. I deal with pre-production before it goes overseas to Korea to be animated for production and then it comes back over to the States for post-production and then eventually it's going to end up on your screen. What I have here, I work on this program called Storyboard Pro and I'm on a Wacom Cintiq. This is a digital tablet that allows me to draw directly on the screen. We don't really use paper anymore. If we use paper, it's really just to think. These little crappy drawings here is the stuff that's pretty much gonna end up on your TV. Once I'm done thinking, then I try to execute it right here. The way I'd like to describe being an animation director is just like being a live action director where you say places people, except there's no people to place. I draw those people. All right, thanks for joining us on a tour of Bob's Burgers over at Bento Box Entertainment. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you soon on Fox. Mm -hmm.